59th of the week. It's one. The brief hours in new fans and former enemies. My infusion shipment finally arrived this morning. I now have access to some free crystals and frozen pine cones. Oha! Together with Fabus Phoenix Chili, I have three influence now. I unpack them later when I have time. I have a feeling they'll be uh, of use soon. Oha! Listen, I can fix this. Just let me pick up chamomile tincture from my treehouse. Chamomile is proven to be great for wound healing. You've done enough. Never. Uh, be good from here, thanks. Faber, Lynn. <laughs> Back so soon. You keep. Say, so did your send that later after me? I told you she has nothing to do with it. It's my uh, fault. My fault alone. So let me at least fix you up. You better keep those clumps hands off me. No, no. How oh, about we calm the spirits a bit and you tell me what happened? A misunderstanding, I suppose. Yes. The elf put of me as an uncle dragon lookalike. The uncle does looks like a werewolf. Yes. No. It's a bit more complicated. Doesn't matter. Matters that the elf has mistaken me for a werewolf. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Maybe, but not on purpose. I promise. It's just me and my bad. <laughs> I have the back to the here. Here, Maybe, but not so propose. I promise it's just me and my bad luck. Spielt, glaube ich, sowieso keine Rolle bei denen. So verstehen spricht die auch nicht. See, it happened again. Nothing can ever go right. Don't say that, Faber. Tell me about it. We start from the beginning, alright. Right, so you sent me out to look for the werewolf in Trigarin. And you have seen it. The quest that I gave in Jeep. I will call him. Oh, good. I have my shortcuts and traits that make me travel. Rather swiftly through the ashen gulf. And by uh, early dawn, I reached the borders of Tel Trigarin. The ashen gulf tints out at that part. You can catch glimpses of the white fields, vineyards, and sea farm of two or two. Truly idyllic, especially during sunlight. There is one downside with the idyllic sunset flow. It gets dark. Of course, it does. 
and every tall lone person in the dark is automatically a werewolf. Huh? No, but every tall lonely person hunting down the farmer's sheep is I I you no, I didn't do that. Yes you did. And the quest started that this is exactly what the werewolf would be doing. In my defense, I walk. We've we've all been the been there. So Lin was busy hunting sheep and in the shadows of dawn you thought she must be the werewolf. Hoppla. Exactly so. And then you need not one but three arrows. I'm swift with the bow. I figured. And I prepared to fight, not bargain. So I shoot. Trigger happy. I can't get myself to aim right for the heart. So I aim for the shoulder. And suddenly the werewolf curses and chooses words I've never heard before, like Salem. Or how I'd imagine a sailor to swim. I've never actually met one. Yeah, telling me you never heard of blah 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 before. Hey, what is that? Why well, it's censored? Your protection, the age rating assessment is quite harsh. Ah. Anyways, I was observing the pretty uh, for uh, for uh, anyways I uh, observing the pretty for the bushes and suddenly I felt a uh, piercing pain in my shoulder. Not once or twice, but three times. Cause pain crackers <laughs> and we are dead. But never been so happy to have him missed. So I turn around, ready to lunge at the rescue, daring to aim at me. And orange gleaming, I stared at me to he to the shadows. Wait into my soul. I thought that it's over. I shoot the bells of death ring in my ears. I was done for and I haven't even set foot out of the ashen grove. I stumbled backwards, tripped over the a branch and crashed into a tree. Nah, that weren't the passing bells if he actually Bells from the Chaperon tone. My, my name is Fabio. Wait. So they crashed into a tree and the rustling of the leaves, cracking of branches, and I pitched help. I didn't help. Yes, you did. It caught the attention of the actual culprit. You must be on this way to turn yet another sheep. Perhaps this time even the farmers are to when our rustling caught his attention. I heard the warning, such a deep guttural growl, it made me blood curl. I swear, I swear I saw my life rush past me. Sounded more like an empty stone to me. A big empty stone. Either way, bad, very bad. A whole rank fought the air when he emerged from the bushes. 
torn and towering, glowing red eyes and fang as big as my head. My head. Probably around 8 feet high. 6 feet at max. 8. Seeing this tall creature send, uh, send shivers down my spine. You said that already. No, I didn't. Seeing this tall creature send shivers down my spine. And I was frozen. I was sure the Mary Morgan incident would repeat. I did stand there and watch everything as it happened, unable to move. He looked around and sniffed the air and his eyes locked with mine. But then I remembered what you had told me. Where was the loving play patch? So I swiftly slid down the tree and picked a stick from the ground. We both noticed my movement. But before I could launch at me, I threw the stick into the bushes as far away from me as possible. I wanted to buy myself some time to adjust my bow, but the stick somehow also influenced Kerkulin and both of them hurtled down the bushes, bushes. And that's not even all. As I couldn't help but run after the stick, I noticed something good in the werewolf. Flannel Rex. So I forgot the stick and grabbed him by the throat. He wiggled and twisted like a wall, going and bumping right into my face. I stabbed him right in the eyes as I used the elf approach from behind. The elf fell out in the bone. Don't, Kevin said, and I uh, lowered my bow hesitantly while she studied the werewolf's face. She grew like she likes to do. Truth. Uncle Dragon, she uh, exclaimed the then and I flinched. Dead Uncle Dragon? Yeah, my giant uncle was in full werewolf transformation in front of me, right there, acting like the biggest virus rescue in the world of, of the world. I was joking when I told you the story in Keep. I wouldn't have thought the werewolf was actually my uncle. But that is exactly why I don't do cases involving a young trophy. So how did you deal with him? Confronted him of course. Knocked some sense into him, you know. We tied him to a tree, so he wouldn't get any ideas before turning back. I knew learning all the sailor knots was good for something. It's good for a lot more than that. Oh, oh, I mean, either way. The resolution was only half exciting as getting devils. Apparently, he contracted Cantophia as the an annual family gathering. And since he was short tempered, he and his husband got into a lot of fights. So he ran away. I can understand that. Or too well. And of course, I can't kill Janet's uncle just because he is a werewolf. So you let him go? 
the elf nose uh, swamp roof that made walked out of a room, dropped him off there. No more sheep tuned for now. So all in you would say the quest was a successful with a few obstacles attached and someone getting hurt. Listen, the arrows itself ain't the problem. The code through that was expensive. I'm sorry, you really. Ah, don't bother. After all, we got rid of the like. Fun. If we even got you a keepstick. It's nothing, it's just. It's not even the great. It's just fault. The fault. I thought it would be a nice reminder of my first successful quest. I like trinkets. But is it. Come on. Quite be sh being shy. Shy. Well. We played fetch with the stick afterwards and ooh, I thought I could bring it. After Curlin brought it back to me. I had to finish playing fetch after all. A nice memory of sorts, you know. It's a nice memory, it's a stick. Thank you, Faber. I know just where to place it. Right. Mm, anyways. How about a drink to celebrate on me? I told Sarolin you have hand for mixing. Just the right thing for an any situation. Sure thing for the booth of you. I pass. I run home quickly to get the camo my thing to work. See you later. Da werden wir wieder zu zweit. Later. So in keep surprise me with something that fits in my bra. By which means I need a usual strength never gets on it. So, the Stärke Trank. Jetzt bauen wir hier noch. Schild. Und Krone. Here, this should be your liking. It is not bad, thanks. So that little blight on you waste them. Fable or oh no? No, that's surprising. You two seem very close, like family. They are irregular. I see. This is the still open? Yes. Great. I am taking it. You still have arrows stuck in your shoulder. This but is badge. Plus Elfie is getting me one of the hippie selves. Should be fine after. Alternatively you could take a rest. Have some sleep. Let you bounce here. So mm -hmm. bit yourself of ammunition decoding your body. Alternatively you could mind your own business. I know what I can take. 
And if I don't move on to proper quest without bumbling the arrows and useless relatives, I'll be going insane sooner or later. You want that? No, at least not in my tavern. I worked really hard on that wood smoke. Then do your job and let me take it. I mean, you already have. I'm just doing my job. And how do you call it expressing appropriate concern? You did this woodwork yourself? Excellent transition. Then? Yes, I did. I built all of it myself. Why? Could get anyone to help? I had a very specific vision and too much free time. That's too. Boredom does things to do. One day you are bored, the next day you are leaning home to crosswood. Do you know any carpentry? I know of carpentry. And of boredom. That's exactly why I gotta take this quest. Need to contact the boredom before it makes my B steps shrink. I don't think that's how that works. But boring is not what I would call this quest in the slightest. Stealing from the Chimera for a vampire sunscreen could couldn't get more reckless than that. Could be could be taking a few long. Fair point. Please don't. Want don't need another exemplary person. So the Sauvians for vampire vampire sunscreen. Can't a vampire can't a vampire get their chamira go go themselves? It's a river chamira. Vampires and fire don't mix too well. Also, if everyone just did their own quests, the quest economy would be in shambles. Suppose that be terrible for your business. Indeed. Does it bother you that it's for a vampire? No. Does it make you nervous? No. You did mention that you like fangs. Did I mention that I have great swords three times the size of your hat? I am sure a vampire would find it impressive. Have you ever encountered a chimera before? No, not only one. Got me thinking ain't it kinda best famous to steal from a draconic guardian. Depends, are you religious? Guess not. Then no. Would it be if I was? Mm, don't think so. Chimeras the uh, witches all the time, and they were created to be guardians by the protectors of the realms. So stealing something to protect someone seems in line with the doctrine. Good thing you ain't a priest. You do a piss poor job. Thank you. Is blasphemy what you are most worried about? I ain't worried. Okay, nervous? Ain't that evil? Then what is it? Excitement, I suppose. Excitement? Don't laugh. I'm not laughing, I'm asking. Ah. 
is excitement. I have never encountered a guardian before. And I've always thought I wanted to. Why haven't you? It ain't exactly easy to fight or to survive. This seems like a great opportunity for you then. It is. What's it about Guardians? It's less about the Guardian and more about what created it. And maybe a little about the Chimera. It's got a dragon head, right? It's modeled after its creature, I would guess. So let me reference what it is it about the dragons and chimeras with dragon heads. They are cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. When I was little, my Baba used to tell me bedtime stories about the dragons every night. She was a great adventurer and encountered many of the creations on her journeys. Not sure if it's true, but she always claimed she passed each of the realms keepers themselves. Had little keepsakes, keepsakes from them and all. My sword's one of those passed it on to me before she passed and left. One day she was just gone. I think she wanted to spend her last moments somewhere else. Like to think she visited one of her vacants only in last time. Rumor not when Nick of three arms keepers. Maybe she is of stealing sheep. Too soon. That sword and your stories are all I have left of her. I'm going on this quest. It almost feels like I am steeping into a memory of hers. Did she ever tell you about survival and Samara? No, was the only kind she never encountered. Had crows with those feline ones, different varieties of skills, even a cow one, I think, but never found a wyvern on in all her yards. It would have been nice to tell her the, the story, but I will tell. If I will tell. I am sure you will. You can tell the story to me. I don't know if I make for a good Baba, but I don't do enjoy a good thing. I think about that. You already got me talking too much. This is you talking. This is you talking much. So you enjoy dragons? Uh, this Entscheidung. I don't. What's wrong with you? Plots. I used to like them. And then what? Did they burn down your last one? Would, wouldn't that be a story? No, I... I suppose I have just outgrown them. Oof, weirdo. Do you pray to them, Sultan? No, I don't need their help, and I don't need to rely on anyone, not even friends. A little help never hurt anybody. Last time someone tried to help, they shot me with three arrows. They weren't trying to help you. They were trying to kill you. But Alice, does that mean you do not want to drink 
Perhaps you were up in him? Didn't say that. I see. That doesn't count as help. It's prepayment from me taking on your quest. Sure. You will be happy to hear that I have some incredible infusions to offer that could go greatly help with few requests. Now, that sounds unnecessary, complicated. Let's keep it simply. Alright, what can I get you then? I reckon a little bit of boost for this body can hurt. Hurt, they are quick and too few. So I need to be both hardy for its bite. Some defense might come in handy. Or something for the brain. Bamba talked quite a lot about how much they enjoy good moves. Maybe I can outsmart it when the right, with the right play. But I will need some intelligence for that. I won't be risking it all for the bad idea. Maybe you want to drink with an infusion. I just got to unpack my shipments today. A what? Infusions. I use them to space out my drinks. They grant you special abilities. Like the Phoenix Chili, a little bit of it could make you fire resistant. That could be very useful in the fight. Sure, I try one. And on the topic of trickery. No, no one, one is enough. Either you mix the fans with your, your chilies or you get heavy on intelligence. Don't need any more of your fancy tricks. Which one you pick, I don't care. It's your job, figure it out. Know that I have access to infusions. I have to be careful of how they interact with the other ingredients. Get switch but they made after they made alter the drink in a way where I have to use different ingredients than usual. I should make sure to keep an eye on the coaster shape so that can Mix the correct to receive. Maybe I should even try adding an infusion first and adjust the drink from there. Let's give a try. Ah, let's go over here. Three verschiedene Sachen haben wir. Okay, infusion fire. Dann war das hier. Okay, erstmal hier. Er ist drin, der wahrscheinlich ein bisschen durch abnehmen wird. Ich würde die Zutat dazu geben. Not the right drink. Let's see if this that fits. Hmm. Oh, 
Ah, das Plus. Ich mach ein Plus hier drauf. Okay, dadurch wird es ein Plus. Da brauchen wir hier dann nur. Jetzt auch ein Plus drauf. Ja, da müssen wir hier, brauchen wir hier gar nichts von. Schaut nochmal ganz weg. Da ein Plus. Das macht da ein Plus, das heißt, wir brauchen jetzt noch. Das Ding ist noch finished jetzt. Aha, aha, aha. Das ist noch drei. Was fehlt? Tonight's Drink. Eigentlich müsste, wir, eigentlich müsste das ja gehen mit dem Blauen. Brauchen vielleicht noch ein bisschen Blau. Foster Black ja, genau das. Selbst drauf gekommen. Da muss man ein bisschen mehr mixen. Figured it. You are getting better. Thanks. I'm feeling tougher when and dangerous close to catching fire myself. Think I could almost take on a dragon like this. Let's stay grounded. How urgent is the sunscreen? Pretty urgent. The sun tends to not take a break, even for vampires. Maybe she, maybe he should sunbath less than. That might solve his problems. Might. But when he has, but when has an his solution ever been fun? Good point. I see what I can do. Maybe they got some nice in that mangrove. Good luck. Won't be needing it. What I do need is that chamomile self. Gonna go look for that blighter. Go easy on them. Um, thank you. I'll be waiting for your stone. Schon wieder. Good evening to you too. This crest. It wasn't here yesterday. That is correct. Mm. It seems dangerous. It is. And mysterious. Sure. Like me. You could be a little less mysterious by telling me your name. Safe here. Did the wind carry you in? No, my legs. I wanted that quest. Well, you have it. Not just literally, physically, emotionally. Emotionally, um, I want to take on that quest. Go to the castle to get the cape. I mean, yes, 
Hmm. Well, no one has gone to the castle yet. So if someone would like to go to the path, would be open. So you know of the castle? Yes. It seems... It seems strange. It is. A vampire lives there. I heard rumors. Whispering of strange. Fendish woman. Resisting there. <coughs> what a coincidence. Me too. Has she ever frequent your tavern? No, not recently. But she has. Once had a vampire mixer. Interesting. So she was only there here at night. Yes. Would you say he, she was a natural pale? No, she had a lot of makeup on. But below that mask. Sure, yes. Would guess she looks pretty dense below that. What kind of drink did she order? Blood. Interest. You sell blood? Of course. Moose blood. Did you hear about wolves avoiding the castle? Really? All of them. Yes, she has a lot of werewolves, traps um, set up, but all animals seem to stay clear of werewolves' castle. They say it doors are always locked, so nothing may come inside or leave. And anything that tries to melt into your land in one way or another. As a grave, as a pile of decorative bones, as dirt feeding rotting flowers. They say a death clings to her doorstep, like everlasting melody. That sounds like a strange place. Like a tomb for something still alive. Or for a goth. Goth or vampire. She seems to be a sympath. It appears so. Do you not sympathize with that? Theory is an honorable skill, but it must be achieved in secret. Or you are not worth the coins you bought. Also, stealing a man's cape is just plain loot. I suppose. Only think was stealing a man's hat. Not if it's cursed. Especially then. Point is, if you can't defend yourself from having your profits reclaimed, you must live with the consequences. The consequences being you. Exactly. It's definitely sounds like you know what you're doing. Of course. I am one of the shadows in the world, long before they even notice me. So you could easily swipe something else together with the cape, right? Certainly. Gold, gemstones, and the treasures, whatever pays the books. Whatever about some interior decorations. Like what, for example? Just something to pretty up my tavern a little bit. Maybe something useful that also doubles as decoration. Like a chair. Stealing a wool chair sounded a little too ambitious for the first quest. I'd prefer something smaller, like a little trinket. My walls are a bit empty still. 
Wait, you're being serious? Absolutely. A small piece of furniture that once belonged to an eccentric vampire uh, sounds like a wonderful addition to this tavern. I, I will see what I can do about it. You won't be disappointed. Well then, I just I trust you deliver yourself to her doorstep and the key back to me. Along with a neat little addition to my interior design. That sounds like I need steps. Would you like some? No. Too traceable. How about a drink then? I could do with one of those. I hear two drinks hold inspiration of great magnitude. Allow you to dip into parts of yourself that you didn't previously know. Raise yourself from your shell. Say, what do you trade them for? Hmm? Secrets, jokes. Secrets. I have many. Grant me one. I shall. I know this may come as a shock to you, but I was already here just yesterday. You may not remember because you barely noticed me in the shadows. I was so stealthy, I spent whole hours just watching you from my phone. That is definitely a secret. You cleaned a lot of glasses, served everyone with a smile. You looked so worried after the adorable green one left, like you thought. They made trip straight into a monster now. And you are soft here, soft with your hands and fast with the knife. Alright, enough secrets. You may have one of my infamous drinks and some of my infamous influence. Influence. Infusions? Infusions. Intriguing. What my magic do you have to offer? For your purpose, I think you could either benefit from some free crystals or frozen pinecon. The frozen pinecon have absorbed some of nature's icy properties. They can help you form a magical frost barrier that will hold those trying to harm you. The free crystals here straight from Evelyn actually. If used they will turn you invisible eventually and for a bit. The expiration date is a bit unpredictable. I've be I've also got some Phoenix chills chilies. But I don't think it's very useful for your situation. Interesting. So what dark depths of yourself are you looking for? I fear that they everyone may be your the undead nature. So I must be strong and vigorous if I want my stake in your heart before your fangs are near my neck. That does sound appealing. Strength I can do. And some frost armor should help with the facts. Or perhaps smarter wood would to await your wrath entirely. The old stealth around steal the cape from below her panels so that she may lie in the same in the shame of having lost against me. I think such an approach will require the right of amount of dexterity and some invisibility could help with staying unseen.
Should my speed and agility, agility not be enough? Help me with the decision, you people. Your wisdom, not secret, is that. <clears throat> Gut, wir dürfen uns mal entscheiden. Ich wäre hier für nicht Angriff, sondern den Fienkristall. Nicht den Fienkristall, sondern was wird da verlangt? Das ist dieser Drink. Mit nicht Eis. Ich glaube, das war's. Das Eis ist schuld. So, das macht hier ein Minus. Das heißt, wir müssen ja eins mehr reinfügen. Und was schwierig wird. Das wir es aufmalen hier. Das heißt, wir brauchen hier das macht ein Minus, das jetzt brauchen wir eigentlich nur komplett im Grünen und das erreichen wollen. Da das aber hier ein Plus macht, dürfte das gehen. Not the right drink. Das brauchen noch ein bisschen. Das geht so nicht. Noch viel Kristalle, die da hier reingehören. Wir machen hier ein Plus. Das müsste ja automatisch. Oh, die Stücke, wie soll man das hinkriegen? Wie soll man negativen? Probieren wir das hier. Eiskristall. Das haben wir schon probiert. Ich bin schon wird. Wie können wir das wie können wir nicht, wie können wir nicht von dem hier was weit weg machen? Ich 
Was ich brauche hier. Das ist der Drink normally. Swift Strike, aber der balance das aus. Wir brauchen weniger von dem Blaumus weg und dafür noch was Grünes dazu. Müsste es das nicht sein? Das ist irgendein Grund des Schwerts. Oh Gott. Mein Hirn kehrt. Mach's leer. Das andere, das Schwert. Das Schwert trinkt. Schwertdrink mit Eis. Ist nicht machbar, oder? So, jetzt müssen wir noch ein bisschen Krone dazu. Ich hoffe, das war richtig. Yoko trinkt jetzt All Vampires 4. Garlic Breath. Not quite, but that's a good name. May I steal it? You don't ask for permission before you steal something you keep. Then It is no longer clever rules, but a mere trait. I see. Did you hear of my new drink, the garlic bath? Ha! Ah. Good one. It tastes like not garlic, but just a flirsen to a vampire. You don't find garlic, Gary. And we've done find garlic scary, not only the absence of it. It makes two of us, hopefully. This will help me a waiter. I'm not prepared for a fight, but I do not need one if my steps can be swiftly and quiet as the wind. And if she can't see me. Goodbye and keep. I would say that the sun will carry me back to you. But my hope does not lie in the rear. Keep us, and I shall be damned if they control my fate. Expect to see my, me again after the next sunfall. If you do not speak of vengeance and against. Vengeance makes for an early grave. Or for a good story. Farewell. Or for a bitter end. And do 
nochmal füttern. Six Thieves of the Wake. The Wafer, Actron, the Wafer was in Stay Light Sonata. Wir müssen natürlich noch erfahren, ob der erfolgreich war. Good evening. Good evening, Faber. Did you have a good day? I did. Well, sort of. It was a little depressing. How so? Can I have a drink first? Sure. What are you looking for? Some zest, perhaps? No, not today. Something to help me wind down and uh, feel a little less like mushy moths. So I will still have to make the rounds around the growth later. So something that will keep me awake and agile would be nice. Do you think you know me well enough to guess that I might need? I'm already on it. Buswoon. The übliche Drink. Wie immer. Wir wollten eine Schiefer versuchen. Können wir sie ergeben? Wait. Wenn wir hier den Stuhl, wenn wir das wieder rauskriegen. Da was noch dazu packen. Hm. Wir machen kein Special dazu. Here. Thank you. This is delicious. You always know what I need. I think I feel ready to tell you the story now. Please go ahead. Do you remember Mr. Dragon? Glint's dead beat werewolf. Uncle, unfortunately, I think he is still on her mind. She has been very down since we came back and so quiet that it's making me worried too. I wanted to cheer her up. That's very kind of you. How did you do that? I tried that. I just tried. I didn't go very well. I should probably just pretend it didn't happen. Fabian, tell me about it, please. Okay, so we have the small werewolf community in the Ashen Grove. A couple of lichen trope effect, affected elves settled there about 200 years ago. And they have welcomed people like them ever since. They offer support for anyone trying to get the cause under control. The cause under control. And a home with a beautiful view on top. 
I thought if I took Carolyn, Carolyn there, I could show her that there is still hope for her uncle, even if he doesn't find a cure. She thought it was ridiculous and a little funny, at least until I started trying to involve the werewolves. Oh boy. I tried to tell them about Mr. Day Dragon so they could help cheer her up. I thought if I told them he is chasing a cure, they would be interested. Maybe even offer to help him. But instead, everyone just ended up being sad. And then we were all quiet. I'm sorry, Faber. It was a sweet idea. Maybe just a little too soon. Or too late. I wish I could have done more on that day. Maybe we made them talk it out or hack it out or yell it out. The day is over. It has happened. And it went how oh, it went. Oh, you can change a still no. I guess that's true. I took her on walk after to my favorite spots of the wolf. She told me a bit about her barber. She sounds much nicer than Greg. Indeed. I hope the way from Chimera is everything she hopes to be. Perhaps it will be. Maybe even more than that. I hope so. Well, may the stars of Cassiopeia and Leviathan get her way. May they lead her down the right path and back to my tower. Do you think she will let me read her stars, star sign soon? Maybe if you ask nicely. Maybe I'd rather not bother her with it. You should ask her, maybe try not try to connect to something else. Yeah, what if I She doesn't strike me like the astrology kind of girl. You're right, maybe showing her my bow collection will make you happier. Maybe so. I hope she will come back. Of course she will. They always do. I'd like to think so. I guess so. We should take a break from rowing. Maybe stay a while before heading back. That sounds like a good idea. I will just idle here. A bit if that's okay. Always. Oh! Best than down. It's weak. Greetings. We keep. Greetings, Kyle. Greetings, Green Creature. Greetings, Mr. Vampire. Oh, polite. Are you enjoying your drink? I am. Thank you. Then I shall leave you to its inspiring aftertaste. And keep. Say, did you move your in by any chance? Chance? It took me hours to find it. I did not. Are you sure? I believe me you otherwise may have formed themselves around your establishment. With winding paths in the dark corners, anything could be hiding with them. Like a vampire? No, said Stack. I don't need to hide. Except for games of hide and seek. I am very good at those. Maybe the inn wanted to play around with you. Mayhaps. But 
it underestimates my skin. As a tree sometimes hide and seek with the world champion, I would never lose to such a young of a man. It's not that young. The wood is not erotic yet, dear keep. It still has many years to go. That would be nice. As a celebration of a match, where um, may I offer you a drink? Yes, I think that would be well deserved. Has the delicious blood of yours made it onto the menu yet? Not yet. Shame. Then I shall have some of the fox spot again, please. It does make my bones feel more stoned. Coming right up. Der rote Drink. Ich erinnere mich. Sollte ich mir anzeichnen? Vielleicht kann ich mal hier ein bisschen was zu packen. Hm, schön. Bisschen Corona dazu. Ich glaube, das braucht trotzdem noch ein bisschen. So von Corona. Die feurige Chili wird vielleicht schmecken. Some Fox Blood for your boots. Enjoy. Ah, this is perfect. The only thing that could make me happier would be a drink loving, lovingly titled the innkeeper's way. Keep dreaming, taunted by Connor. Speaking of dreams, how is the retrieval of my cape coming along? Swimming me. Well, actually. I think there is very little water involved. I wouldn't be so soon. My dear Evelyn has a beautiful pot filled with long toothed spine and guppies in her courtyard. It's her pride and joy. I would hope no one is swimming in that. But I have sent someone on your Quest. I am sure he will return soon, and you and your cape can be re reunited. Marvelous. Speaking of inseparable teams, where is Ria? Oh, she has taken a day off. She demanded vacation time, so I said she could choose any day. And she chose today. I was going to also take a day off and spend her vacation with her. But when I wanted to follow her to the market, my sleeve caught on fire and my hat and my hair. So I was forced to stay back due to my allergies. The wee pink and marvelous pudding are well you bad this time of year. And the sun, the sun is also bad for vampires. Is it? Yes. Wait, I need sunscreen. It's in the books. Did you get to see the mark later? It, it was beautiful, colorful, and full of music that makes your heart dance. But I couldn't find Ria anywhere, so I felt a lonely. Luckily, I managed to make a new friend. No time 
very tall and moving, just how like them. I think quiet if I could try on his dark armor of swirling and shadow and oxybo. But he said if I tried to take it from him, he would turn me to ash. What a jokester. Dark armor of swirling shadow and onyx bone. Yes, a true connoisseur of fashion. He is just visiting, he said. Had great crepe recommendations. Plum traps with ash sprinkles. Yes, it tastes delicious, that. Most danger of the night. I see. I hope you enjoyed your evening together. Read it. I feel like he asked something of me. I promised I would remember. Perhaps he wanted my cape. Many people want my cape. Perhaps. But I would have never uh, agreed to that. It's my cape. It's my cape, after all. Maybe he wanted my uh, Pascal music. Is it good? Very much so. Then I would like it as well. Oh, yes, you. Me. He asked about you. Me? Yes. Said he is an old friend of yours. He was very curious about how you were in the story. I thank your praise, of course, so he asked me to deliver your greetings and congratulations on the Varan establishment. How did he profess it? Deliver my congratulations on the fox pox your precious innkeep has found in her house of denial. Very poetic, if you ask me. Well, if only I could remember his name. Does the description ring any bells for you? No, I'm afraid not. Too bad, it must be an old childhood friend. Maybe you went to school together. I heard many friendships and fought in such homes. Maybe. Do you want to tell me more about your time at the market? Surely. I found the loveliest trinket. I like a little stuffed beer with a tiny raincoat or a recent elder moon necklace. I found a gorgeous sun charm as well. I bought it from William as a welcome back from vacation gift. That's very sweet. Your friend bought a delightful raven feeling with eyes of starlight. Please don't call him that. We should never deny our friends, even if we don't do not remember them. I don't remember any of my friends. As I still love them, even if their memory lives only in my heart. Anyhow, he said it was gift to himself to celebrate the dawn of the month of the astral moon. Oh, I love Cassiopeia so dearly. She is the most beautiful month. Is she not a haven of starlight reflected in the primordial sea below? Only once a year is she this close to us and only for a short period of time. To me, she is the harbinger of Yonk and of Church. 
I wonder how we will change this move. I hope to be more capable and sounds great by the end of it. Maybe even a bit less. I know. What about you? I like the way I am. But I wouldn't say no to stocking up on ingredients. Ah, the refusal to change is dangerous. And keep up. It always comes to those who will deny it the most. By the end of the astral moon, they shall no longer be weak once well. That sounds like a threat. By no means. Maybe it promises more, but celebration also does it not. For example, my dear Ria met me hating vampires and now she likes me. To change has always occurred before the stars have changed it seems. I think she is the right. Mein Traurig gemacht. That is a very mean thing to say. I don't think you get to make that decision. Neither do you. No, but I can have faith in her hand. Isn't that what friendship is all about? That reminds me. I forgot a crucial part of the message. Our dear friend stranger told me that he would like to see you again, he said. What was it? Don't think too hard about it. Ah, of course, the letter. The letter? The polite young man gave me a letter to deliver you to you. What a sweet gesture. I shall pass it on to you swiftly. Oh, ha. Huh. Thank you. Aren't you not going to open it? No, I don't think Hose the right knows the right time for that one. Not enough moonlight. But wouldn't it be kind of romantic dwelling in the memories of a friend? It would go so well with the fireworks. Too bad. I will remember, I promise, and then I shall deliver this message in full. Don't think so hard about it. I do remember the fireworks. But fireworks? I have no clue. I said he hopes you will enjoy them. Fireworks? Doesn't sound that lovely. I hope they are not a private event. I think that would be difficult for fireworks. Oh. I don't mean to interrupt, but... What is this? Little fawn? Look outside, I think. I think the fireworks have started. Oh, how beautiful. They are falling from the sky. Hello, little fireworks. Sparkle on. Those aren't fireworks. They are stars. Dear player, you've reached the end of the Tavern Talk extended demo. Fast. It's been a pleasure to take you on this little journey. Little. Through the way for us in. I hope you enjoyed the little insight into the adventures to come. End of the demo. We reached the end of the story for now. Thank you for playing. See you soon. Und hier ist das großartige Team. Ja, ich habe es durchgezogen. Es waren jetzt, glaube ich, nicht ganz vier Stunden. Es <lacht> ist. Okay, ähm, ich bin dann mal ein Stream absagen, den ich, den ich heute machen wollte. Genug geredet für heute. 
Ähm ja, danke fürs Zuschauen. Ähm Puh, ja, was gibt's da noch zu sagen? Ähm ich widme mich jetzt mal durch der Feedback Survey. <lacht> Außerhalb der Aufnahme. Und ja. Großartiges Spiel, großartiges. Ja, wirklich da. Ähm, auf der, ich freue ich freu mich, ich freu mich so auf den Release. Das Spiel auf Deutsch zu spielen, das dann ist ein bisschen, ist dann weniger anstrengend. Als auf Englisch. Ähm, ich hoffe, euch zuschauen hat es gefallen. Ähm, es war nicht zu so ermüdend. Ich hatte bestimmt meine schwachen Stellen zwischendrin, weil ich ein bisschen nachgelassen habe. Bei dem, bei der Zwergendame und bei dem, bei, der Vamp bei dem Vampir da habe ich, habe ich mich ins Zeug gelegt. Zumindest, zumindest das habe ich, glaube ich, ich glaube ich habe ich, ich habe es, ich habe es, glaube ich nicht allzu schlecht gemacht. Gut, na dann. End of the Demo. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Danke fürs Machen dieses großartigen Spiels. An die Entwickler, an die Leute hier. Ich freue mich auf die Notiz. Ja, Follow und Kickstarter könnt auch mal hingehen. Nicht, dass es nötig haben. <lacht> ich kann's, ich, kann ich mal kurz in der Aufnahme gleich zeigen. Ähm, nicht, dass es nötig hätten, dass die haben die Kickstarter-Kampagne war in den ersten sechs Stunden ähm, <lacht> der voll, äh, voll, also das da finanziert in unter sechs Stunden. Also das da war, das war uff. Das war schon. Die erreichen gerade ein Stretch Go nach dem anderen. Also, puh, kann ich euch gleich nochmal zeigen. Aber hier erstmal Wishlisten. Habe ich schon gemacht, natürlich. Ähm, Brauche ich nicht nochmal zu machen. Und ja, spielt die Demo. Diese Demo nicht. Die, es, es gibt eine etwas eine, um einiges kürzere Demo, die freie Spielbar ist. Könnt ihr euch auf der Steam-Seite von Tabantonk runterladen und auch mal reinspielen. Und vielleicht sehen wir uns irgendwann mal zu einem Let's Play davon. Ja. So sieht's aus. Ist eine unterstützenswerte Kampagne. Ist da wirklich, ist da ist eine Kampagne, ähm, eine DD-Kampagne. Unterstützenswertes Spiel, also. Da habe ich ein Hoch dafür. Ich finde es super. Mir gefällt es. Sonst hätte ich nicht gespielt. Bis zum nächsten Mal, bis zum nächsten Video. Entweder schon heute oder ja, wahrscheinlich schon heute auf diesem Kanal. Da habe ich nach oben ab oder lassen, Glock aktivieren. Bei Tavern Talk vorbeischauen, Demo spielen. Ja. Ähm, und ja, wir sehen uns. Bis dahin. Ciao, ciao.